Joe Zekas from YoChicago.com. I'm in Highland Park at a Highland Park landmark, the Ben Rose House, and I'm here with my favorite architecture buff, Phil Berger. You and I actually just looked at a video that uh, Landmarks Illinois uh, posted a couple of years ago when they placed this house on its most endangered properties list, and the truly eminent uh, architecture uh, historian and critic Franz Schultz called this. Uh, didn't he call it the most important modernist house in Illinois? It is a really, really wonderful building. And it is actually quite important uh, for a number of different reasons. I mean, uh, one of the reasons is that uh, um, both that this property really consists of two, prop two buildings. The earliest of them is the 1953 residence for the Roses that was designed by um, an architect named A. James Spire. He was one of actually an early student at uh, the Illinois Institute of Technology under Mies van der Rohe. The Rose House itself was built in 1953, but Mr. Rose, aside from being a prominent textile designer, was also a collector of uh, vintage automobiles. And in, 19, in the early 70s, uh, he hired uh, another student of Mies van, of, at IIT who studied with Mies van der Rohe, David Hayde to design this pavilion for him to house his cars. Both of them really embody uh, the Miesian spirit better than um, almost any uh, house on the North Shore in terms of uh, really being emblematic of the modernist idea. Most prominently, it's the idea of uh, the single pristine one-story pavilion, the perfect building with universal flexible space inside of it. This is a... Uh, a, a rather large space that um, can be used for a variety of different purposes. The pavilion that was intended for the automobiles is uh, a pretty amazing structure um, because uh, it is really built into the ravine. Even though they're very geometric, totally Miesian buildings, they look so organic here as if they were almost natural objects that grew like the trees and uh, the bushes. They seem to just be at one with the setting, which was really more of a Frank Lloyd Wright ideal than it would be a Miesian ideal. But still, uh, it's, a, it's, I think, a modernist ideal. The interior feel of the home is, uh, is, is fabulous. I mean, you're totally in nature. Yeah, let's, we gotta go take a look at that. I mean, what's great about this space, is that you don't even have to say what's great about this space, just look at it. Because you're inside a house, but you're really in nature. You are surrounded by the natural setting. It's just, again, taking advantage of this extraordinary site. Looking at the house from the street side, you would never have any idea that this would be what would be behind those pine walls. That's really one of the nicest things about it, is that, uh, um, uh, there is this real separation between public and private. These are the original cabinets. These are the original ovens. These are, uh, and I'm pretty sure these are the original countertops. And they add so much, I think, to the real charm, the modernist appeal of this house.